Okay, hi guys. Um, today I'll just be showing you just um, in depth of Parallels Desktop if you have Windows installed on it. Just settings to make it um, go a whole lot better and just work better, I guess. Um, so first what you want to do is go into the Parallels Desktop I've got down here. Just let it load. I'm on the trial. I probably would buy it. But I just wanted to use the trial just to see if it would work properly. Uh, so once you're here, I have Windows 7 installed. Press the little Settings tab. Now, again, this is on uh, Parallels 11, the newest version at the moment, at the time of recording. So just hit the Settings button, and you'll be in General first. Um, I mean, obviously, when you set it up, if you're going to do games only, you can change that, or just productivity, like, yeah, you know, your Word, um, email, web browsing, all that stuff. But if you're going to be doing, if you want your computer to do more and have better um, performance, you want to go have games only, even if you're not going to play games. You know, you might be doing using AutoCAD or something like that for making stuff. So once you've done that, there's nothing really else here you can change that would make it better. Just go to options. Um, you can have a little flick through here, but there's not really too much here. Um, but hardware is the main thing. Now, CPU and memory. Now, most or nearly all MacBooks should only have two processors, so I always keep that at two. Uh, but memory, my MacBook is has eight gigs of memory, 2.8 gigahertz, Cry 7, uh, 750 gigabyte hard drive. It's a late 2011 one, 13 inch MacBook Pro. Um, but I set it at eight gigabytes because if you're just gonna be using Windows for stuff that you really, really need um, good performance for, you just wanna set it at eight because that's, I mean, that's what I have. If you had four, you set it at four. Um, like your, your Mac would run slower, but you still, um, if you're just going to be using Windows mainly for that time, change it to eight. Okay, so next um, thing is that, that doesn't really matter too much, graphics. Now again, about this Mac, you'll see graphics here. My, I have 512 megabytes of graphics. I don't know really about too much about graphics stuff like that but I just set mine at 512 because I want uh, Windows to have all my computer can give it kind of thing because I'll be doing high-end games and stuff like that um, so yeah I just set that at 512 megabytes like what my computer is um, after that hard disk now I have it originally set it at 128 gigabytes I just edited that and put it to 256 because I have a 750 gigabyte hard drive. So, and I thought, well, eventually I'd need the 256 gigabytes, so I might as well put it like that. And Windows will run a bit faster if you do it like that way. Um, I don't know why floppy disk is there because we don't have that. CD, that's fine. And really, yeah, so mainly it's just hardware and slightly in general. Security and backup, that doesn't really matter so much. So just these uh, simple uh, settings here can make your experience a whole lot better. So I hope this worked for you guys. Leave a comment if it did work and if it's, um, your computer seems better now. And when it comes up, it'll ask you if you want to change it because it thinks it's too much. I just say, um, don't change because that's what I want. And here it'll say, start your virtual machine will slow down the Mac. Start it anyway, start anyway, because you don't want to be using the Mac, most likely, if you're going to be using this. So, um, and when you change it on um, the settings in the Parallels desktop, when I log into the Windows here, it'll show you that uh, I do have um, well the settings that I've changed so yeah see there you go uh, 255 gigabytes 
um, down here, she add gig of RAM, I've two point eight gigahertz, all that, yeah. Um, and yeah, I will be doing more Mac uh, videos, so like your yeah, how tos and all that kind of thing. So keep looking out for my YouTube videos. I have a video how to get updates if I upload a video. Follow that one, do that, so then you get an email if I upload. Um, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in another video.